the hunger strike happened. So, you know, we didn't talk that, that much about politics at home, um, certainly at that age. But my mom's from the north, so we, we would um, take holidays to, to the north to see my cousins and, and all of my Irish side of the family are up there. It's a different atmosphere. You know, soldiers, watchtowers, um, helicopters, and, you know, this, this, just this feeling of tension. And so, you know, the troubles of, were always part of my life growing up, as, as were with most people living in Ireland and in no Northern Ireland. You know, they sort of went side by side, with just sort of existing, especially in Northern Ireland, you know, to live in, in such a sort of turmoil, to live in, in such, you know, tension-fueled atmosphere. Mm. But I just tried to sort of absorb all the information um, through meeting people that were in the prison with Bobby and people that knew him. Um, and then I kind of tried to, you know, discard it all and then just serve the script, you know, and tell the story within the script. And, you know, I tried to get an essence of what was in the script and tried to get an essence of the man and then just go with my own sort of, you know, uh, interpretations and my own um, motivations within the character. And it's pretty easy not to eat during the day, I found, you know, and I would just sort of, it's just nibbling on berries through the day. You know, blueberries, blackberries, they're very low in calories and you can mm. eat quite a lot of them. And then I would have just a handful of nuts as well. Um, but you have to be careful because nuts are quite high in mm. calories. And then I would have sardines as dinner. And that was, yeah, that was quite, a, I would be on my knees, sort of like licking the tin. No, no, just out of the tin, you know. The one thing that the diet did give me was a tremendous amount of focus, you know, and discipline. And um, that definitely helped for, for the character. In the last section when we were doing this, the skinny bits and the dying bits, I, I just pretty much went from my room to the set. And it was also particularly hard in that last week, just because I could see the finishing line and it was so close and then you start to sort of doubt yourself of course you know all the demons start to come in that scene was that you know that was the tricky bit you know the diet was just going by numbers you know i just had to get to a certain weight and had the, but that was that was the you know that's the one i was nervous about to, to um belfast uh, four weeks before we started filming just to sort of get the research and start working on things the accent and that piece and i, I made a sort of plan of doing it every day a certain amount of times and so by the time liam arrived sort of the week before uh, I had it learned off, you know. So Liam, you know, uh, Steve said to Liam, you know, we're thinking about doing this as one one take. And Liam's like, you must be joking. And he's like, no, 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 really. So Liam comes to me after, you know, the sort of initial meeting. He's like, how are you doing with this dialogue? And I said, well, you know, I've got it learned off. And he's like, what? And I said, well, you know, I'm playing Bobby Sands, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm shitting it, excuse <laughs> yes. the pun. But, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I don't want to get this wrong. I didn't want to mess it up. Uh, and I said, listen, just move in with me, you know, I've got this two-bedroom flat. Why don't you just take the spare room and we'll hit it every, every day? So he moved in and we just worked on it 10, 15 times a day. Steve would come in the evening, take a look at what we'd done, give us some notes. And the next morning we'd do the same thing and we worked on it like that for a week. Are you all right, Bobby? I'm Grandma. I'm starting a hunger strike on the 1st of March. You're going head to head with a British government that clearly are unshakable. Not just the only thing I can do, it's the right thing. <laughs> 